first up in the sense that I got to meet a lot of wonderful artists and they became friends and also internationally speaking I started to meet a lot of artists as well and we share our work we do collaborations, I send the work to them, they send it to me, I paste it in the streets and we just created this nice vibe between us and we just very recently I'm connected with a lot of women uh, based up artists and we have made collaborations as well and I think it's very good to um, showcase women based up artists as well. I'm a parent. I'm a street artist, I'm a muralist, I do paste ups. Different people do different things. First I prepare my paste ups. I like drawing in my sketchbook and then I enlarge my designs and I go to streets, I paste them in the street. But some people they use uh, digital designs, some people they just paint in the main roll papers, they go different sizes, different materials, some people they use even jewelry in, in the paste up. So, but in my case, I'm using my sketches. I was in Los Angeles. I was living in Hollywood as a writer, and I started doing street art there and did it for many years. And I was traveling to London a lot. I have family here. I love doing art here, and it's such a hub to get to so many great places. Late last year, I flipped it. I live here now, and I spend time. I go back to the United States for extended stays. I am the artist known as Wordsmith, and it's Wordsmith with no vowels, W-R-D-S-M-T-H. I am a writer. Uh, first and foremost, I've always been a writer. I have written screenplays, short films, I used to work in advertising, I'm a published author, and almost 10 years ago I started doing street art, so it made sense to me that if I did street art it would be word-based, and um, I came up with an image of a typewriter, and I write all the words in the page coming out of the typewriter, so the name Wordsmith just made sense. Um, I played with that and the moment I removed all the vowels and it was just W-R-D-S-M-T-H, it kind of became cool and I ran with it. I had to be about the foxes because of my love of urban wildlife and I love gardening and the foxes come to my garden quite often in Hackney. I'm deadly street fox. I do street art that's about urban wildlife. There really wasn't a fox on the walls on in street art that I could see, so I thought I'd take on that character. Paste-ups are easy for me to do. My originals are all made from leaves and um, bits of things I find, and fabrics and sequins, beads, all sorts of the materials. So they get photographed and, and then printed out for paste-ups. Anyone can try it, and I'm, I'm always telling people give it a go because you never know where it might lead to um, and who it might introduce you to as well because it's opened up so many doors for me meeting other artists not just in the street art community but in, in the LGBTQ community I've been introduced to artists in that area to doing markets and, and stalls, places selling my work you know it, it can lead to lots of different places so you, anyone can give it a go Stencils, sprays, I do paste ups, I do NFTs, I do lots of different stuff. So, and I love it being with these guys, you know, doing this big international paste up thing. Um, it's brilliant. My name's Sol D, and I'm a stencil artist. Uh, I like to do my art about healing the planet. I think there should be more. I think there should be, I just love it. It makes it, it makes the place colorful and bright. I've been a paste up artist for about eight or nine years now. I first got into paste up. I was, uh, I was working on a one year project with a tree on Hackney Farm and I was, each fortnight I was decorating a tree uh, but gradually uh, the concept expanded and I started photographing the tree and pasting up photographs of the tree in the street nearby. This past couple of years, mainly focusing on these uh, pedestrian characters. I'm Russell Shaw here. It's more spontaneous for me. I mean, I predominantly design uh, on a computer. The computer's like having an assistant with me. And um, 
I, I find it yeah, just a great deal more spontaneous and self-contained. You know, I can just spontaneously decide I'm going to go out, I'm going to print up, I'm going to go out, I'm going to pace any time of day or night. I mean, I love it. Throughout my life, I've been an artist in all sorts of mediums. In the 90s, I was a contemporary dancer. In the 80s, I was a performance artist. Yeah, now I consider myself a street artist. Because it's like Alice in Wonderland. I really love the collage aspect of being in amongst other artists. And, I, and, and particularly with paste stuff as well, I like the decay and the weathering of a work and when it's sort of peeling and, and sometimes there are conversations between artists. I mean, artists I haven't met, but I'll, I'll put a piece up and then they put a piece up which seems to be in that same theme and it's beautiful, it makes me so happy. Subdued. I do paste tops and I also do some stencils. I mostly do political and social commentary. It's kind of a form of protest art, I guess. It's, uh, it's kind of a way to get your voice out, to get, make your point, and also you can do it quite quickly, you can react to events, and people get to see it like straight away when something political happens. I do paste tops and I also do some stencils. So basically just print out your things on any kind of paper. Sometimes they're hand drawn onto kind of like craft paper. And then you use wallpaper paste. You can mix in a bit of white glue like PVA bonds and then you mix it, you can put it on the wall. And it's really quite easy. You can use even use old newspapers and things like that and just draw on them. of the London International Paste Up Festival, which is amazing. So now we've had uh, maybe 200 different artists sending us their paste ups, so we're going to put them up around Shoreditch, around Brick Lane area. And it should be really good, give them a chance to kind of travel to London through their art and hopefully make some colourful walls. One of the things I love about the whole paste up thing is just the community and the, all, the way you get different artists from overseas coming in with all sorts of different styles. Some protesting, some making political points, some just doing decorative things. But I also like it's there's a lot of females involved in it, there's a lot of gay people involved in it, so you get more of a mix of people. And it's always a very friendly community and people always kind of accept you in quite easily, so it's, it's a joy to be part of.